Hello everybody, my name is Ever Barbero, and today I'd like to talk about example 3.7, part C, in my textbook, Finite Element Analysis of Composite Materials Using Abacus. There are four ways to solve this example, and thus, four different videos. In this video, we use continuum shell elements, stacked through the thickness, one for the core, and one for each face, to simulate a sandwich panel. By stacking elements, we get a better approximation of the transverse shear deformation in the core. Even better, at the end of the video, we show you how to refine the mesh to get even more accurate results. Now we create the geometry, also called domain, by extruding a square through the whole thickness of the panel. Now we create datum planes to separate the two faces from the core. Now we partition the faces from the core. In module property, we create materials for the face and the core. In this video, the LSS is described by the mesh. Thus, we create a composite layup for each, the front face, core, and back face, separately, with ply count, 1, element type, continuum shell. Relative thickness equal to 1, means that the thickness used is the thickness provided by the mesh. The average Poisson's ratio and thickness modulus must be provided separately. The assembly is trivial, because we have just one part. As usual, we need a step 1, 
after step initial. Within module step, we edit the field output request, to get results saved. We add CTSHR, and TSHR, to include the transverse shear for continuum shells. We add SE, section strains, and curvatures. These are not saved by default. We add three section points to get results, at three Simpson points in each layer, that is, front face, core, and back face. In module load, first we apply a pressure on top of the plate. The left and the bottom edges are clamped. Make sure to pick the three areas, for the front face, core, and back face, not just the core. The other two edges, have symmetry boundary conditions, so that we can simulate the whole clamp plate, while modeling only one fourth of the domain. Next, we mesh. Element shape, hex. Meshing technique, sweep. Element type, continuum shell, SC8R. Now we need a job. When completed, click results. For results, let's look at displacement U3, which is the deflection of the plate, under vertical pressure load. We can improve the accuracy, by refining the mesh through the thickness of the core. Okay, that's it for today. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe. You can find more details in the textbook, by following the link in the description. Thank you.